welcome Gemini this is your Elin energies for 020220 let's see what is coming up and remember that the extended readings are there so if you're a member you will receive your extended readings okay these Elin readings you have to listen to this one first before you listen to the extended okay so let's see what is coming out for the Gemini's for 0202 um, 2020 for the Gemini Sun Moon and Rising sign all right so the first energy is what is affecting you and I see deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. Okay, deep replenishment, retreat, repress, and be held. So whatever the issue and whatever the situation that was happening and transpiring, I see a deep healing is about to come in. You're going to be healed after this day. Um, this can take up to whenever and however you go through your healing process. It's all about replenishment. It's all about deep replenishment and deep healing that is going to be coming up for you guys. It's a beautiful energy. What it is um, that is blocking you at this moment is that you are blocked from awakening to who you are as a true spiritual being. This is what is blocking you at this moment. See the energy, um, the energetic upgrade, okay? A new way of being, integration. So it is time, and that is what you're blocking yourself from accepting this awakeness, okay? So what is over you and what is affecting you is that uh, the healing that was supposed to be coming out, okay? And see it as the next two months, uh, the next three months, which is um, uh, April, May, and uh, April, May, and June. You're going to be awakening, okay? Um, so see it as this, because um, that's what is over you, blocking you. But as you go to April, May, and June, that's when the awakening is going to be happening. That's when the energetic upgrades is going to be happening, and a new way of being and integrating, and be being an earth angel and integrating with your other assets okay let's see what is um what you need to learn what you need to learn is uh, um the keepers of the hurt you're not alone ancient um ancestors stand beside you so um this is something that you need to learn that you're never alone on this planet you have ancient ascendants who are um, standing beside you and these are the keepers of the hurts which is your guiding angels your um, universal angels and guide whoever they are they're the keepers of the word the hurt and they're protecting you and this is what you need to understand with this time as the healing is coming in is that you're never alone because the keepers of the word your ancestors are here to help you what it is that you need to let go, you, um, uh, um, Gemini is uh, crumbling. What are you, um, um, clinging on to? Okay. Um, something is crumbling in your life. Whatever you were holding on to and clinging on to is crumbling in your life. So you have to accept it because this thing is going to be leaving your life very soon. So, you know, this period is where. In this first three months, whatever is um whatever is crumbling is going to be leaving your life soon. Okay, so something is definitely crumbling. Something that you're clinging on to has come to an end, and you need to let go, Gemini's. Whatever that is, um, this situation has come to an end, and you need to let go. The help you're going to be receiving, I see um Burton a new age. Okay, um Burton a new creation dreaming a new world into your beam so something is crumbling and whatever is crumbling you need to um rebalance yourself something is crumbling you need to let it go and you're going to be having a rebirth so let go of what needs to leave your life and you are definitely going to be having this rebirth of a positive new life that is about to transform so it's all about the energies uh, of the evening energies that is coming in in this year after 2022 
is that it's going to be moving you forward and it's going to be helping you to align you in the right ways and um, the things that you need to be healed. Um, some of you are protected by um, the mother of Jesus, the mother of source. The positive energies is going to be coming in. Protection is here for you, Geminis. If your mother has passed over or your grandmother or a mother figure that you are very close to, um, they always come through with the energy of the mother earth, the grandmother, that sort of a thing. And they are going to be protecting you July, August, and September. July, August, and September, they are going to be protecting you. And this is going to be good, okay? As we look at October, November, and December, we see you're going to be breaking the chain, okay? Ancestral, um, um, part, part, um, you know, ancestral behaviors, healing and rewriting the future for your bloodline. And this is really, really positive. This is really good because what is happening and what is transpiring is that when you come to October, November, December is when you're going to be breaking the change. You're going to be breaking the change, um, the, and the, ancestral patterns that your family line and your bloodline is carrying in you're going to be breaking this trail and healing it and rewriting the future for your bloodline so this is really wonderful really positive positive alignment of energy is here for you gemini's a beautiful beautiful sense of energy because it's um this here is about a deep cleaning okay so you're releasing, okay? And the keepers of the hearts, which is your guiding angels and your spirit guides, wants you to let go of something. And they're going to be helping you to give you this new birth in um, this year, okay? The awakeningness is coming up. And let's see um, what we're going to be having for the next nine months that is coming up, okay? So in this uh, um, January, February, March, you are going to be having a deep cleaning and you need to let go something. And then we're going to be seeing what is going to be coming up for, for you guys. Okay, so awareness, um, what is coming up for the Gemini with awareness? Um, again, a tower moment is coming up, you Geminis. So whatever is transpiring, there is going to be a, 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 a tower moment um, between April, May and June for you uh, Geminis, whatever is transpiring. Um, and this tower moment is going to help you to um, energetic upgrade your energy in a new way and a new form. Awareness is going to be coming up with the star movement, whatever is letting go. So Gemini's, um, you are, you know, really letting go something and whatever is happening is you have two tower moments, something that you're clinging on to. You have to let go. OK, tower moments are coming up. Then we have um, been watched over July, August, and September. The energy of the star, you have to let go, and whatever you need to let go, the energy of the star is coming up. That healing is going to be coming in in the month of um, um, September. Um, yeah. July, August, and September. So whatever that was happening and whatever you have to let go, a tower moment is going to be coming down, but a healing is going to be coming in. A tower moment is going to be let down, but a healing is going to be coming in. And this is what is going to be creating all these effort and all these situation. As we come to the end of the year, which is October, November, and December, I see you breaking the change. You're breaking the pattern of your ancestrals. You're healing and rewriting the futures for your family. And I see the energy of the Ace of Cups is where um, by rewriting um, the issues and the situation that was played in your family, um, there is not much love is coming in, but the love is going to be coming in. So what I see you guys are doing is healing future children that is going to be coming through the bloodline of your family and this is going to be powerful and positive so you're healing these uh, children or these children could be coming in also to heal you so if you have kids that is going to be born um october november december they're going to be coming in to clean the ancestral pattern of your family and rewrite the future for your family. So removing all lower energies that is coming up. I see the truth is coming out and whatever that is transpiring, I see the truth is, uh, is as if you're going to be aware and awaken and the truth is going to be coming up. 
let's see um what is the message for you gemini's that is coming out um we have um the gemini's in the house of the gemini's we have the second house so there is something um with your asset gemini's that is going to be leaving your world but um it's going to be beautiful because what i'm seeing here for you gemini's um it, you're going to be having issues with the second house and you have the sun so here we go gemini the second house and the sun all right so whatever it is the sun is coming in with an healing at the end so for the people um you need to choose s m r p s m or p whatever you choose we're beginning with s then we're going to go to m then we're going to go to p so information to explain so you gemini's who are looking for information to explain something your belief may be um because it's in the second house and your belief about money is in the second house um what I'm seeing happening is that the creativity, so your creativity, your belief is going to create abundance in your life. Okay. So whatever is transpiring for the people who choose S, your belief is going to create um, abundance in your life. Okay. For the people who choose M, communication is, um, you have to communicate, um, what is your value? You have to communicate your value, okay? And this is sometimes I say to people, um, um, don't be a monkey and work for peanuts. You gotta know your values, people. Oh, so when you, um, you gotta know your values, okay? The gains of respect for or from. So you need to gain respect from people, okay? You got to, and that is it, the value. You, you have to know your value in order to gain respect from people. And this is what a lot of you Gemini's is going to be finding out in the spirit is that in order, and that is what you're going to be communicating, and that is what the communication has to do. In order to know what is your value, the gains of respect that you receive from people, that is how you're going to be knowing what your value is. As we look at result from um, the fluctuation is that your resources, things that brought to you life or light. Okay, so because it's the house, the second house, it's all about money. It's all about money, ladies and gentlemen. So resulting from the fluctuation. So let's say that your values are fluctuated. Your resources, your inner resources is going to be still there helping you out, okay? Things about you and your life is going to be so awakened. You're going to be seeing um, that some some of you might be just seeing that people, people only love you for what you have to give them, okay? So I, I think some of you Geminis are going to be awaken to this that people is just going to be loving you for what you can give to them okay what you want to know about uh, um your second house is patiently going to be um demonstrate to you so what you want to know about your materialistic sense of ability it is it is it is going to be relief um um demonstrate to you so don't worry it's it's definitely going to be happening what is believed about your second house is what you want okay so realize um if you think that you don't have it that is what you're you're giving out in the universe always i am abundant i am financially abundant in spirit and my abundancy is coming in so you always have to have that abundancy sense of thinking use um the quickest way and get what you need okay act like a leader so use the quickest way get what you you need by acting like a leader okay and that is going to be helping you to move you forward especially with your two house and that the second house is always your financial abundancy 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving forward and we are going to be checking out and seeing what other messages is coming up from um, the fairy. And it says playtime. The dolphin know the importance of playing as joy create miracles and manifestation. So Gemini, this is looking good. This is wonderful. This is positive because what is transpiring is that I see that it's all about creating miracles and manifestation in your life and this is going to be powerful and wonderful and it's going to bring you another positive alignment of energy so then we're looking dress rehearsal so it's all about the alternative courses and it's all about choices it's all about alternative courses all about choices they're giving you a new chance a new rebirth for you to do things in a very very different way it's going to be fantastic and it's going to be good you gemini there is nothing to worry about because life is going to be um it's as if you're doing your dress rehearsal now and in a couple of months you're going to be um changing and rewriting the slate for your bloodline and this is going to be positive because now you are going to be realizing the alternative way of doing things and healing things and you're going to be making a choice okay and the last message from the source the source of all things it says it's beautiful where i am so some of you if you have people who have passed over they want to tell you and let you know that it's beautiful where they are stop worrying just remember them in the way that they left you in a very positive way okay it's beautiful that is what they said it's beautiful where they are so enjoy this and understand that we can't make uh, um and change things for people um we just have to understand that life is about people making choices and um it is beautiful where there are and there is wonderful positive alignment of energies that is going to be coming up okay so gemini's i love you i hope this healing is going to be um helping you touching your soul and making you make changes namaste until next time